Hey everyone and welcome to sunny Seville in Spain. We're here to ride the brand new Triumph Street Cup. This is the third model in the Street uh, Twin range, if you like. Now the Street Twin has been a massive seller for Triumph since it's been released. It's uh, basically rebirthed the Bonnie line, I guess, if you, if you like. The Bonneville range has been Triumph's easily most iconic name, the most successful lineup. And this, this bike takes a little bit of a step further. So yeah, cafe racer style and speed, that's what this thing's all about. If you have a good look at this thing, it's got everything that you would imagine the boys, the ton-up boys would have been riding back in the day. And the thing I love about it mostly is there's three points that I really, really like about this bike. I love the seat. I think that seat is absolutely beautiful. And I particularly like the pinstriping on this tank. I mean, aesthetically, if you have a real close look at it, the, the details and everything on this bike is really, really nice. And, uh, but what makes a cafe racer? these things, drop down bars. So if you have a look at the Street Twin, for example, Street Twin is a nice upright riding position. These things, they're actually, if you look at them closely, they actually look like they're a one piece bar, but they've, they've got uh, the actual clip-ins have been mounted a little bit further forward. So now your, your riding position essentially is you're a bit further forward. Pegs, pegs are actually in the same position, but the way the seat is angled, you feel like you're in a bit more of a, a, bit more of a racer style. Those that remember the Thruxton 900, this is not the replacement for the Thruxton, Thruxton 900. As, uh, I, actually kind of, I actually had a little bit of a thinking thing that it might be, but this bike is very much its own bike. Now, if you have a look at the front end on this bike as well, you have that 18 inch front wheel. Pirelli Phantom Sports Comp tyres as well, they're specially made for this bike. And uh, this bike, even though it's cafe racer, it's, it's not a sports bike in that, in that true sense of the word that loves having the front end buried. You gotta be real careful with the front on these things. And that's just, that's just a trait that's been through cafe races and uh, two piston brakes as well. Uh, I reckon it could use a little bit more braking power. I'd love to see a four, uh, four piston caliper on that bike. One thing I absolutely love about this bike though is that parallel twin engine. Uh, the Bonnie 900cc, 270 degree crank uh, twin cylinder engine. This thing is beautiful. It's so smooth and they've got twin, twin balances on this engine. So when you're riding it, sort of 60 odd mile an hour. I mean, this thing only revs to 7,000 RPM. You know, these things don't rev very hard at all. But the main thing is just how smooth it is. Like you can, it's not gonna have, doesn't have massive power. It's not gonna pull your arms out when you get on the throttle. It's all about rolling speed, all keep, keeping the momentum up in corners. But there's next to no vibrations, which is quite astounding when you really consider how, uh, how retro a style of this bike it actually is. But, um, Gearbox is uh, much better on this new one as well. As I say, five speed, but really, really smooth uh, action with the gearbox. It's got a, it's got a, um, an assist clutch. It's not a slipper. Uh, so you don't go banging down the gears and thinking you're gonna throw it in like a super sport bike. It will lock up on it if you do. But that lever pull is really smooth. I mean, it's literally a one finger pull and you know, I've, I think they always, everyone always says in these tech presentations, they go, oh, it's to reduce rider fatigue. I mean, I don't know anybody who gets a sore lever finger, but hey, look, it's still, it's still, a, nice, it's still a nice feature. Uh, as far as comfort goes, because of the way those bars are, if you look where they are, they're not below the foot, they're not below the top triple clamp. So it's pretty much the same position that you get out of a sporty and naked bike almost. I mean, something like a speed triple has, has the bars higher up, but this to me is not uh, what, I would, what I would classify as a clip-on bar style. I would have clip-on bars down here. Whereas up here, these, these, are, these just feel almost like naked bikes. So we, we did 150 miles today and it was fine. Really no problem. Like uh, that seat as well is, is a fantastic piece of kit. But, uh, I think overall, um, I'd like a little bit more stability out of the front end, but I really, really enjoyed that engine. And I enjoyed the ride too. And this isn't something that you go, even though it's a cafe racer, you don't race these things. You go for a ride down to the cafe, and that's that's what these things are for. And if you treat it accordingly, you'll find these things are great bikes. I mean, the the Street Twin. I haven't actually ridden a Street Twin yet. Really keen to do so, but uh, loving that engine that comes out of that's the been donated. It's got uh, the same front end, but the rear end's a little bit stiffer as well, so it gives you a bit more sporting prowess. But you treat this thing with a bit of respect and have a bit of fun with it, these things are great. And look, you get style points for days on this bike. And uh, yeah, I think uh, if this is, this is your kind of style of bike, you'll be pleasantly surprised. So yeah, go and check them out.